master of suspense, John Carpenter has transformed the classic vampire story. All right, here we go. Ready, everybody? Let's roll cameras. Action! He's created an action-packed thriller with a Southwest twist that makes the Spanish Inquisition look like a tea party. And let's cut it. I've always wanted to make a vampire movie, and I figure there, there are basically two ways of doing it. Either you do the classic Dracula and really do it right, or you r try to do something new with the genre. Have you ever seen a vampire? No. Well, first of all, they're not romantic. Seducing everybody in sight with cheesy Euro trash accents, all right? Forget whatever you've seen in the movies. Vampires concerns the Catholic Church and the fact that it created vampires back in the 13th century accidentally. And uh, the church has a, a, a team of uh, slayers that go around the world exterminating vampires. Open wide, baby. This is the story of the master vampire of all time, the first and most powerful. No master was ever like this. Superhuman strength, unkillable, like a machine. Who is searching for a black cross that will allow him to walk in the daylight. A master vampire, able to walk in the sun, unstoppable. The leader of the Slayers is uh, Jack Crow, and he's played by James Woods. All right, we think we got a nest inside this place. He's always wanted to play an action hero. He's a brilliant actor. So for the first time, he gets to kind of play the tough guy instead of either the bad guy or the lawyer. These are like kamikaze vampires, because this vampire would never come out in this light. I'm having the best time of my life, you know. The idea of wearing, you know, these like kind of cool clothes and, you know, having these guns and the crossbow that, with the wooden stakes, you know, that we shoot into the vampire's heart. Um, if you accept the reality of vampires, now we go from there and take very seriously that we must slay all these vampires that are in little nests around the country. John Carpenter's Vampires also stars Daniel Baldwin, Cheryl Lee, Oscar winner Maximilian Schell and Thomas Ian Griffith as Valak, the master vampire. Valak is the original the source of the disease. I love the idea of vampires, everything about it. It's like taboo. It's, uh, you know, the dark sexuality. What's it about? Nobody knows. There's always been a lot of romance around vampires. It's the cycle of energy. The vampire is, is sucking the life force out of someone and then has to give the life force right back to them. So there is an energy exchange. And that is exactly what happens in sex. My feeling about vampire movies is if you don't have sex, if it's not about sex, it ain't a vampire movie. My character Katrina gets bitten at the very beginning of the film. And our story is about her transition from human to vampire. A master vampire has a telepathic link with his victims. You're gonna help us find them. So I'm going back and forth between this very powerful force coming into me and starting to take me over into vampire land. Katrina, what are you saying? And these two real tough guys <laughs> trying to sort of keep me all together so that I can help lead them to him. In the meantime, she's having a relationship with the Daniel Baldwin character. You're not starting to fall for this half dead alone. It's very interesting to try to play um, this attraction with her as she continues to turn into, into this horrible thing. Vampires explode in sunlight. Cut. But burning vampires is no easy task in real life. It takes a team of Hollywood's most talented special effects wizards. <laughs> attach all the explosive materials for the fire. This is my third time I'm a vampire. I'm, I'm getting good at this. <laughs> We're basically going to pull her across the ground and drag her. She's going to be on a cable. Action! Cut! Cut, nice. One more song beat. Basically, we are, at, we are at stage two of our, of our vampire burns. Stage one, we use the actor, and they run out, and they start on fire, and then they fall. And then what we're doing here is we have a dummy of a skeleton. Action! Then we cut to the ashes smoldering, so it's a series of cuts. Action! Got it! I'll bring it. 
We're shooting here in, uh, in New Mexico, and uh, it's a vampire movie basically set in the American Southwest. Now, the great thing about John is he really knows the genre that this picture embraces, which, oddly enough, is the great classic John Ford and Howard Hawks westerns. I've always loved westerns, and I think one of the reasons I'm doing this movie is that it's the closest I've come to being able to do a western. It's about vampires, but it owes more to, you know, Rio Bravo, The Searchers, uh, Peckinpah's The Wild Bunch, than it does to horror movies. And then you have John Carpenter directing, so, hey, it's gonna be a kick-ass movie. For over 600 years, vampires have walked the night. Now, John Carpenter has brought terror into a whole new light. Largo Entertainment presents a Storm King production of John Carpenter's Vampires.